Whoa! Okay, everybody. Holy shit. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed the last match, because now we got a uh, 3v3 going here. So, first of all, let me just say hi. How, how you guys doing? How's everything? How, how's life been treating you since uh, our last matches? I hope things have been going well. So, yeah. This is a 3v3. Uh, me and some other uh, somebody is spectating. I think Red is spectating, so he's technically not in the game playing. So, uh, just to go by the teams here, let's probably the best if I do this. So we've got, I believe, uh, Blue. Eh, fuck, I can't read his name all the way. Okay, let's just let's just do it this way. Okay, so in the top corner over here to the left, we've got Purple, who's Grand Heart eighty nine, who is Shang, uh, his his uh, pocket pocket player here is Trinde. Oh fuck, I probably I probably fucked. I'm gonna fuck up this guy's name, but please forgive me. So we got Trinida Trinida. We're just going to call him Trin for short. He is Paul Myron. And I believe over here... Uh, where is he? Where, 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 there should be somebody here or not. Okay. There, should, there really should be somebody here. Oh, never mind. I screwed it up, folks. Okay. So, technically, we've got Trim Mac Daddy, who is a Syrian in Cyan. Uh, Cyan? We're gonna say gray. Sorry guys, I'm colorblind. So his pocket, uh, Greyheart, who is Shang, and Trin, who is Palmyrin. That's team one, I assume. Let me just make sure I got it right. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So over here we've got Yellow, uh, who is, I'm just gonna call him Hung, who is also Palmyrin. Uh, over here here, where are the other players? Oh, you know what? Man, I am just screw It's really hard to tell here. Okay, wait. All right, all right. I don't know how many times I gotta fucking. Uh, <laughs> do I, this is a terrible. No, this is a terrible beginning for me. I have no idea what the placement is, but I'm just gonna go by uh, the score here. So we got Grand Hearts. Who is purple here? Uh, and we got uh, what's his face? Trin, Trin, and then blue should be right around. Here. Blue's all the way over here for some reason, which I don't get. But blue is over. Technically, blue, Trin, and purple should be all on the same team, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, meanwhile, we have yellow. And where is orange? Where is I just saw him or orange? Wah Wahib, who's up? Oh my god! Uh, sorry, I'm I'm really out of it right now. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so this is what I think the team composition is here. So we got uh, Trin here, Paul Myron, the pocket here, Wahib. Who's Paul Myron also, and then uh, freaking CC or, or we're just gonna call him Oldie, who's chosen over here. And meanwhile, we have uh, Hung, who's Paul Myron, Trim Mac Daddy, who's a Syrian, and Granhart, who's Shang. So I believe this is the composition here. So T1 is here. Team 2 is straddled this way, which, for some reason, doesn't make a lot, or, or unless this is a free-for-all, I don't know. To be honest, guys, I, like, I, I kind of gl glanced at, I, I came in late, and th these guys were like, eh, we don't want to record, but I, I, I guess they went along with it, and were just like, alright, fine, fuck it, so they just decided to do a 3v3, so... We're going to find out if my uh, initial speculation on who the teams were were going to be correct here in a minute once we start seeing action. So, of course, you guys know at the beginning of this, it's it's a very slow start. Everybody's just building eco. Uh, fucking Grandheart's here, really taking off. He's got, 
He's almost done with his berries. Switching to Gazelle. Put a nice storage pit placement here. Making another one here. Gonna gather stone. Uh, Shang bonus uh, has stronger walls, so I don't know if he's gonna do that, but no, it looks like he's gonna fish. So he's really utilizing his resources as well here. Let's go over and check out Trinde. Trinide. I'm just gonna call him Trin again. Uh, again, luring the gazelles and elephants straight to his town center, really utilizing food. He's got, uh, let's see, a couple of woodcutters here, four, let's just say a few. All right, let's go check out, where is, oh, let's see, Wahib is, where is villagers? Where are Wahib's villagers? They are nowhere to be seen. Oh, wait, here they are. He's got a lot of wood. He is he is gathering a whole bunch of wood here, and he switched the storage bit here, and he's trying to lure the gazelles over, so uh, it's a kind of interesting placement, I would say. All right, let's go check out Blue, Mr. Uh, Oldie, who is also just gathering some fish, doing some elephants, got a lot of woodcutters. All right, there should be somebody here, right? No? All right, yellow, yellow. Berries, more berries. He is a berry picker. Again, if you're the Paul Myron player, uh, technically your villagers cost uh, 25 food, 25 extra food. So instead of them costing 50 food, they're 75. So they got a slow start, but they technically work better and gather resources faster, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just double check it. Let's just double check the Paul Myron bonus here. Uh, so yeah, they work 25% faster. So, and then they also get free trade and their trade ships free tribute, I should say, in the trade ships, uh, carry twice as amount as gold, so if they set up, they, he's got water here, so if he sets up a dock, you know, he can start trading, I guarantee you that the teams are this, this, this is, or this just is probably just a free-for-all, I think this is just a free-for-all game, guys, because that's the only way that this, this placement composition is making sense here, because, uh, Grand Hearts is in the Tool Age, and he is just walling, and, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, we already have action. We have a rush. We have a rush from Grand Hearts here. He's hitting with Axemen. Meanwhile, uh, Trim Mac got two barracks up, but he has no units built yet. He's frantically trying to wall and saving his villagers, but I don't think it's going to save him. He's given up, and he is leaving. He is out of here. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to save his villagers from being slaughtered, and they're just going to chase him around the board. I think he's sacrificing one so he can lose the rest. And this isn't good for Trim Mac. Trim Mac Daddy is in trouble. Meanwhile, over here, anybody else? Anybody else? We're seeing any other action? No. Let's see. Is everybody up in the Tool Age? E not Yellow. Yellow still needs to get up into the Tool Age, unfortunately. Oh uh, boy, that's not good. And let's. Uh, this is where the action is right now, folks. So we got Grand Hearts. Uh, not making any more units. I think he's just... I think he, he did... The damage is done. <laughs> he doesn't really need to make any more Axemen at the moment. Where... Where did, uh... Oh, poor Trim Mac. He, he, he has no idea what to do. Like, he's... Purple is in his base. By the town center. He's... It's obviously not a safe place to gather resources. I don't know what he's gonna do. So he's probably just gonna... I think he's gonna head over to Yellow, Yellow to help. Oh, and speaking of Yellow, looks like uh, Grand Hearts has found Yellow's base right when he hits Tool, Tool Age. He's got a barracks open, but it's not gonna be enough. I mean, he needs to get units up before uh, before Grand Hearts sends the rest of his Axemen over. It doesn't look like they're sending him over right now, so he just has to deal. Yellow just has to deal with these two Axemen right now at the moment. Okay, and here Trim Mac building. A town center here, I guess he just decided to fucking just delete his town center and start again, start anew, right by an elephant to get some food and to cut wood. Uh, Grand Hearts, meanwhile, is on a full harassment rage. Uh, Yellow frantically, uh, hung, frantically trying to protect his resource areas. He's walling up and he's building the stables. Just buildings to protect his units. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This Axeman's in. Now, a bunch of villagers uh, teaming up can stop a Axeman, but 
he really needs to close this up soon. He needs to do it now before it's too late. I think I think Grandmaster kinda Grandheart's kinda found out. He's attacking the storage pit. He's gotta finish up this wall here. Finish up the wall. Protect your units. Now again, it's not this this wall is not gonna be a permanent solution. Obviously they can break through it. Wow, that was fast. Hung is up into the Bronze Age. That will be useful because he needs to... Grand Hearts is on a rampage. Look at all... Wait, I just saw a bunch of units streaming down. Did I? Did I not? Or just a few. So he's got a few Slingers here. Oh, here they are. A lot of Slingers. A lot of Slingers coming in. He's gonna hit Yellow. He has to hit Yellow because Yellow is now Bronze and he can make Cavalry or uh, Camel Riders I believe that's another Palmyra bonus, uh, stronger camel riders, and they can chew apart this Tool Age army. Uh, let's do a quick check and see if there's any other action going on right now here. Looks like Trinda, Trinida, uh, <laughs> uh, Trin, I should just say, obviously, is hitting Mr. Wahib. Uh, he is trying to wall up his base, uh, frantically trying to keep him out, but it looks like he is in, and he is attacking this watchtower, and he's trying to protect it. Meanwhile, he's just going for the villagers now. There's just chaos right now on the board. Just absolute chaos. Uh, and poor, oh no, poor Trim Mac Daddy. <laughs> he's not gonna fucking make it. Purple found his base, and now the Slingers are gonna, and he's basically trapped his villagers. He's resigned. He is out. He's done. Yellow, meanwhile, hasn't made any military built units yet. I think he's just kind of holding off right now. Uh, purple can actually get in here and uh, attack these uh, villagers. Oh, and we got to resign from Wahib. Wahib is out. Out already. Two, two players already lost, and I don't even think it's been 15 minutes into the game. Holy shit. Okay. Speaking of what, what's going on with Blue here? Blue is Chosen, so he is going to go with Swordsmen, because Chosen Swordsmen have twice the amount of uh, health. And he has actually walled his base up. He's trying to protect himself from any attack that's going to come. Kind of uh, walled himself in pretty nicely, but oh no! Oh no! Looks like Yellow has gotten into the base! And he's going to do some harassment here. Oh no, that's terrible. That's not good news. It's going to completely offset Blue's attack here. <laughs> Yellow, meanwhile, is already being attacked by Purple. So I don't even know why Blue is even coming into the fray. I think... Okay, so if my memory serves me, it looks like Trina... Why? Okay. You see, what, doesn't, what, the, what I don't understand here with this game is... I think this is a team game because obviously... Purple and blue are not hurting each other, but blue's all the way over here, purple's here, and then the other, I assume, ally, uh, Trin, is also here. Why is Wahib in such an awkward place? And if if this is it, then y if this is a team game, then yellow is basically getting 3v1 right here, and ugh, that is just going to be disastrous. I, this, is, this was a fast game. This was a really fast game. Yeah, I think it's over. I, these cavalry are coming out, but again, camels, Palmyran camels even, are, uh, they have a bonus against cavalry units, and, uh, yeah, these buildings are gonna get brought down. Uh, he's lost, Yellow has lost his town center. I, it, it's gotta be over. It's gotta be over, right? Yeah, I mean, Yellow, Yellow has been harassing Blue, but, you know, he has to hit Trin here, and he has to hit, he has to hit uh, Granhearts. Granhearts did very well, just immediately rushed, and I think he, yeah, he's still in the Tool Age. He hasn't even advanced yet. I think, I think it's over, folks. I, I don't know what Yellow is going to do. I mean, he's lost his military buildings. He's just hemmed into this corner with just wood. I, I don't know how he's going to gather food. I mean, he can build a dock and fish, but... Uh, oh, he's built a, an academy over here, but I don't know if that's going to do much. I mean, it could chew up this army pretty fast, but you have to get enough academy units. So, I guess this is just uh, the weight game right now. Huh. Okay. So, we're just going to be focusing here, and the camels... From Trin have broken through. He's gonna take out these villagers. 
I, I think this is the GG. I think this is uh this this is it. Where 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 are Yellow's villagers? He's got one. He's got two here. They're gonna die. Uh, he he's got four here. They're fishing. Uh, where they're going with these fish? Right into the path of these broad swordsmen. They're gonna see them and gonna attack. He's got a hoplite coming out. I think I think Yellow doesn't want to surrender. But I think he should understand that there is there is absolutely no coming back to this. There he has he has one military unit, and it's he needs more than that. Then yeah, it, it, uh, okay. L let's see how fast this hoplite falls. He's getting ganged up. He's not really doing any damage. He's killed one broadswordsman. He killed one broadswordsman, and it's over. He resigned. He just wanted to get that one kill, in, folks. All right. Well, geez. Fast game here. Very odd placement for a 3v3. You had one guy that was essentially isolated here, another two here. Like I don't, I don't understand that the the, the player placement. It was it was awkward. Anyways, uh, next time, guys, uh, we'll view another match. Thanks for watching. What a short match.